Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy and today we're doing our second Ryzen Showdown featuring this guy right here, the Ryzen 5 1500X. And we're going to be putting it up against the Intel i7-7700. Now this is going to be a core-to-core -core comparison. Now before you guys freak out and go, Oh, Kevin, you're such an Intel shill. Oh, all this and calling me every name in the book. I'll let you know my reasoning for do this, and it's very logical. So, the 1500X is a 4-core, 8-thread CPU. The 7700K is Intel's cheapest 4-core, 8-thread CPU that you can buy on the current lineup, that is. Now, this is what I want to do for the showdown, is compare them in terms of them being both 4-core, 8-thread CPUs. It's not going to be so much a price-to-price -price comparison, although I will bring that in uh, in the conclusion. But for now, I just wanted to check out how these two CPUs would go head-to-head, -head, given that they are both 4-core, 8-thread CPUs. So let's start out then, talking about the Ryzen 5 1500X. So it is a 4-core, 8-thread CPU, as I said before, coming with a base clock of 3.5 GHz, a turbo of 3.7, and with XFR, I saw it go all the way up to 3.9, so that was pretty decent. It's an unlocked CPU as well, by the way. The i7-7700 is a KB Lake 4-core, 8-thread CPU with a 3.6 GHz base clock, and it'll turbo all the way up to 4.2. Now let's talk about the test rigs then. So I tested uh, the 1500X on my Ryzen 5 test rig that has the Aorus Gaming K7 motherboard, uh, the X370, which has been absolutely fantastic. I really, really love it. Very solid um, test rig, and I really do like it. The Intel test rig is based around the ASRock Fatality Gaming K6 Z270 motherboard, which has also been fantastic. This is the first ASRock board I've ever used, and I am very, very impressed. It is very good, especially the BIOS is just absolutely fantastic to use. Now, they're both running the same memory, the uh, G-Skill Rip Jaws 4 16GB kit at 2933MHz. In all the tests, it was running the uh, memory at that speed, and they both run my personal GPU, the Gigabyte G1 Gaming GTX 1080 because we don't want to see any GPU bottlenecking if we can. Now obviously the 7700 is a locked CPU so we can't do overclocking there so all the tests were done at its stock locked clock speeds although 4.2 gigahertz is still you know decently good clock speed. The 1500X was tested at its stock speeds but also at overclock speed I managed to overclock this guy all the way up to 4 gigahertz which seems to be about the standard if you get a good Ryzen chip. So, yeah, that was pretty decent. And I didn't see any throttling on either of these CPUs. I checked for that beforehand before I did any of the benchmarks in IDA64. So with all that being said and done, let's jump into the benchmarks, a mix of productivity and gaming, and see how these two CPUs perform. And we're back. 
so at the stock speed the 7700 absolutely smokes the 1500x in productivity and in gaming however all of that seems to change once you start overclocking when those four cores are all set at 4 gigahertz the 1500x really comes into its own and the productivity then is pretty much equal it's still a win slightly for the 7700 but I don't think that many people would care that much when it's that close and in gaming it the 7700 still wins but it gets much much closer only about a 5 FPS average difference between them maybe 4 FPS uh, average difference so that's not very much either and that wouldn't be really noticeable to a lot of people out there so yeah in terms of the benchmarks it still is technically a win for the 7700 even with the 1500x overclocked but it is very very close which brings us now to the conclusion and what do I make of these two CPUs so we do have to bring price into the equation so the 1500x right now at Playtech in New Zealand sells for 309 New Zealand dollars the 7700 on the other hand is selling for 479 New Zealand dollars at Playtech and for all you people out there saying, well, who would buy the locked model? You would just buy the 7700K. That will set you back another $70, as that's uh, $549 New Zealand dollars. So with all that being said, do you really think it's worth it for pretty much the same productivity and a few extra frames, like a handful of frames extra in gaming, to spend $170 New Zealand dollars more on the 7700 or just save that money and get the uh, 1500x I mean you could get a really good B350 motherboard in New Zealand for like $220 <laughs> so with the savings instead of buying this guy you could get yourself a really nice like a gigabyte gaming uh, 3 motherboard you could get that um, and that would be really really solid there and that was done with the stock cooler that this guy will come with So yeah at the end of the day out of these two I have to give it to the 1500x This is an extremely good CPU and when you compare your value for money on a core to core Basis you just see that Ryzen is really hitting Intel hard that is a hell of a CPU for 309 New Zealand dollars now I thank you all for watching this video, please subscribe to my channel Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video and as always I'll see you guys next time.